Nanach Nach Menachem One. We're continuing in the gathering of Nanach Nach Menachem One, 192. Previously we learned that when one studies the words of a righteous person, a true righteous person, he's getting the truth. And he could see, he should imagine that he sees that righteous person in front of him and he will receive the intellect and countenance and soul of that righteous person. And he should guard against forgetfulness. When a person merits to have memory, to remember the words of the wise men as they were said by the wise men, or by reviewing a hundred and one times, because by doing that he'll remember it. Then when he says this, these words in the name of that wise man, it will be pictured in front of him, the image and form of that wise man. And it will be as if the wise man himself was saying it. But the memory should be, in truth, from the power of memory. Because then it is actually engraved in his mind, in his intellect, the form, the image of that wise man. Then this is what we learn in ethics. Someone who teaches a child what is this similar to? Because this person that is studying with a student is actually like writing with ink on paper. And he is forming the letters of his intellect there. So too he is forming in the intellect of his student his own intelligence and form in actuality the person is teaching someone he is taking his soul his intellect and writing it into the student just as one writes with a pen but there are different aspects of teaching there is an aspect of teaching a student, a child. That is when the disciple listens and hears from the master himself. And at the time when the master introduced these words, came up with this, uh, these words, then the disciple is an aspect of a child because these new words of the wise men have been have came into existence by lifting the souls that were there bringing them up an aspect of pregnancy and he renews them like we have previously learned. The Nimsur Shubachinas Yelet. So it comes out that this person who is standing near the right, the wise, righteous man when he introduces new novelties, so the first people that are there are like children because the wise man in order to get these novelties brought up all their souls. So now they are like Children, they're reborn. He will know that as if he was born today. So then, when he's hearing these novelties, it's like it's like ink being written on a fresh piece of paper. That the words are the letters are engraved and formed there very well without any smudging. That is, then he, the person listening will be able to picture 
and engrave in his mind and his intel intellect very well, and he will be able to remember it. But someone that teaches a old man, that is to say, a person that doesn't hear from the from the mouth of the wise man himself, or even if he hears it from the wise man, but he only hears it afterwards, not when the wise man came up with it originally. Not at the time when it was a novelty, when the wise man introduced it, this thought into the world. So the person listening did not renew his soul in this pregnancy, like we saw before. So then, so he's an aspect of an old person, like he was before hearing these words. So then he is similar to a piece of paper that has already been erased from, has erased marks on it. So when you write ink on it, the writing is smudged. So too, the novelty that the wise man introduced, even though it is written and engraved in his intellect, his mind, even still it's not, it's not properly drawn there. And this person that's now listening to it can forget it. This is an aspect of what it says in the Talmud, it is sufficient for the servant to be like his master. And here with the word sufficient also means it could be could be read as ink. The ink of the of the servant is like the master. The Ebedaiko. Specifically to the servant. Ebed who Misha Zokha Zokha Mashem Kabul Miraboy de Shahazar Mea Bachas Pamikna. A servant is an aspect of someone that heard and studied from his master a hundred and one times. Moshe Doshu Razal, like our sages of blessed memory, expounded, Obed Elohim says in the verse, a servant of God. So we, we our sages explain, what does that mean? This is someone that reviews his lessons 101 times. By the Adikaron, which we, so through this, one gets memory, Zochaliot Krabo, he merits to be like his master. Kinudaminod Musi Yukno Krabo, because it is brought to him the image and form of his master. Uchilu Rabo Amaru Az Kanal, and it's as if his master is saying it right then. Like we saw before, Kinachka Kvinistaya Hiti Badaito. Because it is engraved and formed very well in his mind, in his intellect, Panimut the face and the form of his master, Kidiyok Subal Niyar, like ink written on paper, like we saw before. This is, this is an aspect of what it says in the Talmud that is sufficient for the servant to be like the master. We could read it with a different meaning. That it's ink. That means it's well written. Someone that has the aspect of servant that he's reviewing everything from his master 101 times. So then he's going to get the aspect to be like his master. Aspect of ink written like we saw before. We continue. Now, 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 now.